Okay, hello everybody. How is everybody doing tonight? Okay, so from that opening chat. So let's see if that helps at all. Holding steady. Excellent connection. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm vampire teching back again. I'm a little bit more mellow in this one. I'm, uh, I'm drinking my coffee. Yeah. Um, do vampires drink coffee? That's a question. I mean, I guess, I mean, they would drink coffee. I guess they would drink it at night, which is what I'm doing now. So, yeah, it's just like I just woke up. So it's like it's time to start my night. Yeah. Mm. What other games do you plan to play after this? Well, I'm a vampire, so I only play games around Halloween. And I'm already kind of pushing it by doing this now. So, you know. <laughs> um, All right. So last time we... uh. Castlevania Symphony tonight, we got through the regular castle, and uh, we slashed a giant orb above uh, Richter's head, and we freed him from the demonic machinations of the evil wizard Shaft, because that's his name. I kind of want to know the origin of that. I, I want to know why they called him Shaft. Like, I, I don't know the origin of that. If it was a, Is it because of Shaft? I don't know. Shaft! But anyway... Uh, tonight, we are going to be attempting to get through the entirety of the Upside Down Castle to get the final good ending of the game where Alucard faces off against Shaft and then his father, Count Dracula, in pitched one-on-one -on -one combat. Um, it's not... I, I don't think, at least, it will be as uh, long as the first stream. The first stream went on for... I started it at 7, and I got done around 12.30, so it was about five and a half hours uh, it took me to stream that. Uh, we're, we're pretty much starting around the same time right now, around 7 o'clock p.m. Um, I think that we should be able to get this done in maybe like two or three hours. That's at least my estimate. Uh, it's a little bit different because we don't have to... And we have everything we need in order to get through the castle. You know, the first time we were going through the castle, it was difficult because we had to get like the bat and the mist and, you know, to pass certain obstacles. We have all that now and nothing fundamentally has really changed. It's just that we have to like unlock the teleporters again and, you know, all that areas. We're not trying to get like a 100% completion or a speed run or anything. Um, I have my little map queued up next to me. So... Yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, as we start, um, just let me know how the audio is, of course, uh, how the balance is. I noticed that, because um, I had to split the last stream into two parts because we had that little bit of a power failure in the middle. So I noticed the first part was, like, perfect when it came to my voice and the game. The second part, my voice was a little bit low compared to the game, so I lowered the game audio a little bit in this one. Um, just let me know how the balance is, and let me know. Uh, didn't you go to sleep in another house, vampire teching? So how did you arrive at this house? Well, I could teleport. I'm a vampire. That's that's how vampires. I, I mean, you could you could teleport, right? I mean, like, can all can all vampires do that? Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's see when the game starts. Yeah, yeah, we haven't started the game yet. All right. Where's my file? Vamp tech. Uh oh. I hope it's saved. There it is. Vamp tech. All right. All right. So, yeah, we saved here in the keep last time. All right. So now we just got to head to the inverted castle. You will do that maneuver so many times, by the way. That whole jump off the uh, stairs and go into bat form. You'll do that so many times it'll become, like, second nature. Hey, guys, what's up? Can I talk to them? Oh, I can. Cool. The Dark Priest Shaft. He's trying to revive Dracula at the center of the other castle. Hurry! Remember, that's David Vincent, who's uh, playing uh, Richter Belmont, who also does the voice of Grimjow Jaggerjack in a Bleach. Can we talk to Maria? Please take care, Alucard. May the Lord protect you. I don't need the Lord to protect me. I'm Alucard. I'm my own god. <laughs> I mean, he is Alucard. All right. 
All right, here we go. I love that stance Alucard goes into when he warps. It's like he's about to go into fucking Super Saiyan 3. I love it. You know? All right, here we go. The reverse castle. Just like the last castle, but reversed. And as you can see, when we go into our map, that is literally all we have right now. So, yeah. But it is the... It's nothing, like, dramatic or, like, anything. It's literally just the castle upside down. That's literally all they did. Um, there's different items when we break the, um, candlesticks and stuff. But, yeah, for the most part, it's, uh, the same exact thing. Alright, so, the name of the game here is going to be to collect the pieces of Dracula from the various bosses that we're gonna go up against. Um, and after we collect all the pieces of Dracula, then we can, uh, fight him. And there's a life max we get. That's sort of, this is sort of like our reward from defeating Richter and unlocking this part of the game. The bastard sword! You bastard, what are you doing, you daft bastard? All right, how's the bastard sword? Oh, that's right, we're still equipped with that sword. All right, standard sword. That actually drops us to 49. The bastard sword's not that great. Uh, but what were you doing? Let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the combat knife and, uh... Let's see here. Um, that's a two-hand. Oh, that's that's a Scottish right there. I cannot do a good Scottish accent, and I'll do the ice brand for right now. Oh yeah, we don't really need the holy glasses anymore, so we can swap that out with the stone mask. Ay ay Do 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 do. All right, and the moonstone. That's pretty good, and the metal gives us a boost. Uh, we're gonna wear the ring of Arcana, so we can uh, find items. There's actually another ring of Arcana that is located, I think, over in the anti-chapel. Let me just check my little cheat sheet here. Yeah, it's actually in the reverse Colosseum. So we can actually get two. Remember, the ring of Arcana is the lucky ring that allows us to get uh, better drops from monsters. We're going to need that to get the best weapon in the game, and we're going to need two of them to make it even easier. So we're probably going to get our hands on the second ring, and we could we could double up the rings of Arcana very easily. Yes. Such a shame that the Alucard poster got wrecked. Well, it didn't get wrecked. It came in eight pieces. I mean, part of it got ripped up, but I could always tape it. It's not, like, broken beyond repair or anything. But, yeah, it, it was really... I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I, uh you know, set that up. Like, when I was nailing it to my wall, I was like, yeah, I was taping it, and I was just like, what are you doing? All right, um... The Royal Cloak is actually better. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Royal Cloak is better. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's turn into a blue bat. There we go. All right. All right. Oh, I heard something. Ah! A Yorick. What the hell's a Yorick? Somebody look that up. What the hell is a Yorick? Probably some mythological thingy. Yeah, here are all these resist items that I never use, but, you know, maybe they'll come in handy. I think it's because, like, I never... Like, you can sort of tell... Ooh, a high potion. You can sort of tell what um, the enemy's attacks are, but they don't, like, tell you in the game. Like, they don't tell you, like, you know, this thing uses uh, thunder or fire or ice. You just kind of have to guess. I mean, obviously, if an enemy is throwing fireballs at you, you'd be like, oh, yeah, it's fire damage. But I just don't never get a chance to really use the resist weapons. All right. Let's head down here. Oh, yeah. Should be a library card right here. Yep. Okay. And that library card, uh, I, I found this out the hard way, but the library card only sends you back to the original library, uh, not to the reverse library or the forbidden library as in this version. Castlevania and geography is everything. It is, and I'm actually uh, drinking my coffee out of my geography mug. So, yeah. So, Tekken, will you be streaming Pokemon? Yeah, I was actually thinking the other day, I uh, have my Switch and, uh, you know, Pokemon Diamond. And when's uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes coming out? Uh, let me know. Actually, if I go all the way up here, then I can unlock the uh, teleport. So, let's start opening up the teleports. A Yorick is a skeleton doomed to chase its head. It attacks you by kicking its head. God, that's a shitty existence. All right, look. There's a lot of... Oh, yeah, and I love how they have to add this little platform here, because otherwise... 
there you go. But it just, okay, so we unlock that teleport, but we can't go anywhere because it's the only teleport. But yeah, there's a lot of, of messed up ways, like, like, yokai and different, like, beasts and monsters in hell that are, like, really specific tortures. Like, the demon that is cursed to chase his own dick for all eternity. I'm like, God, that sucks. There's some really messed up ways to die. Alright, so this is our first boss after defeating Richter. And it is the Darkwing. We're facing off Darkwing! This is where uh, the Karasu Man was located. Alright, Sword. Dane 